Now, you know, this this week, man, this past week, you know, Wolverine is always on the move, trying to give you as real content as possible. That's why I'm always on the move. So busy last week. But you know what? The best part is I'm able to share with you guys. So last week, I also went to Speed Easy 21, which is located right at the heart of Toronto Path Financial District. They're going to have a patio season very, very soon, so be sure to check it out. But Speed Easy 21, last Thursday, they always have a special music performance on Tuesdays and Thursdays and DJs on Saturdays. But last Thursday, it was something special. It was crowded. You know, like when you're working so hard for almost the entire week, you want to go and grab a nice drink, beautiful cocktail right there. But there was a live performance and there was a special guest appearance. And guess who it was? It was actually Stephen Page, former Bare Naked Ladies uh, uh, lead singer. And Stephen Page was there performing, singing a lot of songs such as My Old Apartment. He basically warmed up the host restaurant. Everybody was surprised. You could see the facial expression of a lot of people. They were like, whoa, Stephen Page in the house. Hey, you know what? I got front row seats standing right there and he did a good set good 40 minutes and check out some of his performance right here That's, that, that was an amazing night. Let me tell you, Stephen Page still have game. He has a beautiful voice. It's just that he has a very unique voice. And uh, basically, he said that he's going to release an album coming up at, at the end of this year. So stay tuned, follow Stephen Page. Hey, and guess what? I also, the, the last week was a, a fan screening of the amazing, one of the biggest movie of the year, Godzilla, which is basically here. And this is the special part. I've been tweeting and showing you all the p pictures that I told. The Toronto PR team for Godzilla is amazing because they set up a disaster zone that duplicate like the Godzilla right at Elm Street and Yonge Street. And there was a helicopter, there was smoking coming out from a train rack, cars smashed. And director Gareth Edwards actually was on hand to answer questions from the media and greeting the fans. And let me tell you, that night it was raining. It was wet, but everybody was still showing up with support. And check out this video footage of Gareth because the PR was telling him that he, he has to leave early because he's late for event screening. But check him out. He actually sp still continued to spend his time to meet every one of the fans. You know the best part about that video is that how real he is and you can see that he was about to leave and then he decided to make a U-turn and greet and sign my autograph and the best part at the end was the permanent marker wasn't working and he said it's dead it's dead and uh, you know he instead of signing an autograph he did a picture and I got a selfie with him that was amazing and Godzilla is amazing check out this trailer here is just amazing CGI and amazing uh, probably the king of monsters. Flashing lights, crashed cars, even a subway run amok. Elm Street was transformed tonight for a new film featuring a famous monster.
haha, you got punk, man, because I was I, I was telling you that it was a traitor. No, because I want to show you the, all the hard work and behind the scenes, how much work that the PR and the Warner Brothers set this Toronto disaster stone. As you can see, there were a lot of work overnight putting everything together. And in case you haven't watched Godzilla, I recommend you to watch it. 3D, IMAX, you get the feel of the, the thing. And this is probably one of the best movie of the year uh, this season. And I hear a lot of good views, good vibe already from this. Now stay tuned, keep it locked. I will have my special guest, Ashton Figure. Taz Garcia, he's gonna show me some moves too. Keep it locked, more friends up here.